guys. I'm gonna do a little video on how we use our incubator. Forgot to get a gallon of water to put the tube in for the um, humidity fire in it to keep the humidity up, but we'll get that in the morning when I go back to the vet. Um, but besides that, right now I'm letting it heat up. I'm trying to get it up where this is the first night I got them home. I want the incubator to be about 89 degrees, between 90, 89 degrees in between there. Um, so I'll just do 89 and then we'll drop it two degrees if they're doing good throughout the next day or two. Um, but I usually only use this for situations like where, you know, I'm giving the mom a break. Like I said, uh, she's outside getting some water. I'm about to bring her in here, try to let her eat because she hasn't ate since yesterday because we can't feed them. I'll probably change these pads out and then also, and then those sitting here, it keeps them warm and comfortable. Like I said, I'm waiting on the temperature to raise up to 89 degrees. Um, I just turned it on about three, four minutes ago. It's already up to 83, so it, shouldn't, it didn't take too long to warm up. Right now, I just got done uh, rubbing them down to make sure they're all peeing, trying to make sure all of them are pooping and everything. Everything's going well with them so far. They're pretty healthy. Um, it's been stuck at, well, there we go, 84. As I say, it's been stuck at 83 for a few minutes. I'm trying to, it's raising though. We're going to get it there. But yeah, like I said, I did, if you haven't seen my other video, this tube goes, usually I'll put a hole into a gallon of water, dip it down in there so it keeps the humidity in here together. Um, I don't have, this is for the O2 nebulizer. So for an oxygen tank, I don't have the oxygen tank. I usually just mainly use this to keep them warm comfortable and then keep it humid in there so i mean it does everything you know that i need my weapon box to do it just gives them a little extra little extra heat um also what else does this do we got the nebulizer the dim i could turn the lights on and off in there and you know i don't even know what that is i'll be honest see that that's the dimmer forgot about this i haven't used this thing in a year but i'll keep it about right there um, pump, you have the Celsius, Fahrenheit, but it makes these little noises and see where it's saying water is empty because I don't have this in uh, any water. But like I said, I'll just stop at the dollar store whenever I leave in the morning and uh, grab one. No need for it right now because they're not going to be in here much for very long, so... Yeah, I got Luca outside getting her a little break. She's been in here with the pups ever since she got home because she was still kind of, you know, drowsy from all the the anesthesia and everything. And like I said, you can see some of the poop and stuff on her. So I'm going to swap these mats out, get it nice and clean in here. I'll show you all before and after. As you can see, she's back in here. I've been swapped the mats out in there. She's getting a little meal in real quick before she gets back to laying with the pups. It's climbing. I went ahead and just put them in there because they're not going to be in there that long. So it's at 86. It's climbing real slow because I don't have the water hooked up to it. I'm, I would imagine it's probably because the humidity can't get where it needs to be. But there they go in there. They're pretty comfortable. It's 86 degrees in there as of right now. So it's 87 now. Um, me, yeah, I'm just letting her get a little quick meal in since she hasn't ate since yesterday. She's had a rough day. I'm proud of her. So I'm getting the meal in real quick. I'll swap these mats out. I'll throw the other ones in the washer. I've got a heating pad up under these also. That way it keeps, these, keeps it even some heat from under these mats while they're laying in there when they're not on, on her. It's getting heat from her body. Um, yeah, and on top of that, we have the lamps in there. I have two lamps that give off pretty good amount of heat. Yeah, I'm just go ahead and let her eat and throw them back in there with her. They just ate about an hour ago, so we got another 40 minutes till they need to feed again, so. Yeah. All right, 
as you can see, she's done now. You can just give her a little bit of a break. Incubator's finally warmed up to where it needs to be. I'm gonna let them just chill in there, give her just a little bit of her time to herself for a few, for probably the next 30 minutes till they have to feed again and then we'll just get back to what we've been doing. All right, just like that. Back in clean weapon box. Feed no mom.